Hi, I'm Lorna, and today I'm going to read Possum Magic, written by Mem Fox, illustrated by Julie Vipas. Possums are marsupials, like kangaroos and wallabies. They have a little pouch to keep their babies in. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in the Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Grandma Poss made bush magic. She made wombats blue and kookaburras pink. She made dingoes smile and she made emus shrink. But the best magic of all was the magic that made Hush invisible. What adventures Hush had because he couldn't be seen she could be squashed by koalas. Koalas see them on her tail. And she could, because she couldn't be seen, she could slide down kangaroos. And because she couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes which was why Grandma Potts had made her invisible in the first place. There she is. It's like, hmm. She's hanging above him. But one day, quite un unexpectedly, Hush said, Grandma, I want to know what I look like. Please, could you make me visible again? Of course I can, said Grandma Poss. And she began to look through her magic books. She looked in, into this book and she looked into that book. Well, there was magic for thin and magic for fat, magic for tall, magic for small. But the magic she was looking for wasn't there at all. Hmm. Where could it be? Grandma Poss looked miserable. Don't worry, Grandma, said Hush. I don't mind. But in her heart of hearts, she did. All night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. And the next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted, it's something to do with food. People food, not, not possum food. But I can't remember what. We'll just have to go try and find out. So later that day, they left the bush where they'd always been to find what it was that would make Hush seen. They're going on their bike. Hush is wavy, but you can't see Hush because Hush is invisible. They're going on their bike. Remember, they live in Australia. They ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide, Mornay and Minties in Melbourne, steak in Sydney, and salad in Sydney, and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Hush remained invisible. Don't lose heart, said Grandma Poss. Let's see what we can find in Darwin. It was there in the far north of Australia that they found a Vegemite sandwich. Grandma Poss crossed her claws and crossed her feet. Hush breathed deeply and began to eat. A tail, a tail, shouted both possums at once. For there it was, a brand new visible tail.
Later, on the beach in Perth, they ate a piece of pavlova. Hush's legs appeared, and so did her body. You look wonderful, you precious possum, said Grandma Poss. Next stop, Tasmania. And over the sea they went. Looks like they're in an umbrella. That's an interesting way to get to Tasmania in an umbrella. In Hobart, late one night in the kitchens of the casino, they saw a lamington on a plate. Hush closed her eyes and nibbled. Grandma Poss held her breath and waited. It worked, it worked, she cried, and she was right. Hush could be seen from head to tail. Grandma Poss hugged Hush and they both danced. Here we go round the lamington plate, the lamington plate, the lamington plate. Here we go round the lamington plate till early in the morning. From that time onward, Hush was visible. But once a year, on her birthday, she and Grandma Poss ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova, and half a lamington, just to make sure that Hush stayed visible forever. And she did. And that's called possum magic. She was looking in her magic books and she was, I bet she had to get her cauldron out. Can you get your cauldron out? You can make a magic potion with lots of magic things in it. And then you'll need to stir it. You ready? So let's stir. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh, ooh. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh, ooh. we should taste it. Get your big scoop out. Take a sip. <gasps> Is it good? I don't know. She was magic. I think Grandma Poss was magic. All right. Have a great day.